This is Javier Encinas, and today we're going to design a counterfort retaining wall from scratch using ASDIP Retain. This is the statement of the problem. We have a 25 feet high retaining wall with a flat uh, backfill. It's a granular material with a density 115 PCF and an uh, internal friction angle 30 degrees. Uh, the concrete strength F prime C4. Uh, reinforcement steel FY60 KSI. The soils report has given the following information uh, allowable solvering pressure in the underlying soil is 4 KSF and the friction coefficient between the concrete and the soil is 0.58. This is a pretty high wall, 25 feet, uh, so uh, cantilever it would be a probably not economical solution so uh, counterfort is the preferred solution for these uh, tall walls so let's get started when you open uh, as deep written and uh, create a calculation for a counter for retaining wall this is the default form uh, in the left side you can enter all the information uh, from the from your problem in the right side you see the results so let's get started uh, entering the information that we know. So the stem height is 25 feet. It's convenient to see graphically where you are uh, doing because whatever you change here is reflected graphically there. Let's enter the, inf the information given in the problem. This information is given uh, the backfill properties, density 115 and uh, phi 30 degrees let's enter that let's go to loads under backfill you can see the density 115 let's use the uh, ranking theory which is a simpler solution internal friction angle we said that is 30 degrees and we don't have any water table, so let's put it this as zero, so no water table is affecting the design. So this portion is already entered. Let's enter the concrete and steel properties. Go to the materials. It's 4 and 60, perfect. 4 and 60. The other information that we can enter is the allowable soil bearing pressure for and friction coefficient 0.58. Let's enter that under here. A level solvering pressure is 4, is there. Friction coefficient 0.58. Okay. So we know that the stem height is 25 feet and we can assume a 12 inches thick stem for, for now. We need to modify the top of the backfill matching the top of the wall. So let's go to the backfill uh, tab and uh, backfill, backfill uh, height is uh, also uh, 25. And we know that the slope is zero, it's a flat backfill. So now we have modeled the, the wall correctly. Uh, we can assume that the soil cover here is about two feet, which is uh, it, okay. A rule of thumb is that the footing length is about between 60 and 70 percent of the stem height. The stem height is 25 feet, so the footing length is uh, 25.7. That gives us about 17 feet. So we know that the uh, the sum of the toe and the heel would be about 17 or, or, or so. From the from the total 17 feet. About one quarter should be the tow length. So 17 over 4 gives us about 4 feet. So we know that this, this should be about 4 and the rest should be in the heel. So let's move to the at a glance to, to see the results and uh, so that we can uh, precisely dimension the, the, the footing as we see the results. You know, the soil bearing pressures here are too high you know the allowable capacity is four and with this geometry four and eight uh, we, we have 5.5.2 .5 so we are over we need to increase the hill let's see nine it's still high 
So let's move to 10. 4.4, st still high. 11. We are very close. Uh, graphically looks looks like that. So probably we can increase a little bit the toe. Maybe instead of four, maybe 4.5. Let's let's check that. 4.5 is perfect now. So the maximum bearing is 3.9, and the allowable is four. Graphically, we can see here in the stability tab that the you know the bearing pressures are 3.7 the maximum for this combination. So we can leave it the way it is, 4.5 and 11. The other thing that we need to check is the, the stability. The stability in overturning is 3.3, the safety factor, more than 1.5. So it's, it, it's okay in, in, in overturning. In sliding, it's also okay. So it's 1.89 versus 1.5. So we, we don't even need any, any shear key so we, we can delete the shear key because we don't need it. So let's go to, to the footing. We don't need a key. Let's put zero depth. So we eliminate completely the, the key and let's check the, the sliding. It's still okay. The sliding is, is perfect. So we don't need a shear key at all. And the overturning is okay as well. Once we check the stability and we check the soil bearing pressures and we are satisfied with the, uh, with the numbers, with the geometry here, we need to uh, design the thickness of the different elements, the stem, the counterfort, the toe, and the heel. The shear controls the thickness of uh, all those members. You know, this counterfort spacing is important because that affects the uh, stem and that affects also the heel. So usually the counterforts are spaced between 8 to 12 feet. That's the normal range that we you find these kind of elements in, in practice. So let's put the 10 feet spacing in between and the counter for thickness is 12 inches, which looks okay. With this configuration, the shear, the shear ratio is 0.53. So it's, it's okay the way it is. The toe is 0.7 and the heel is 0.93. So we said that the thickness of the footing is 20 inches. With this 20 inches thick members, the shear ratio is 0.93, which is very well optimized. So the geometry has already been defined, and we found that the stability is okay, the soil bearing pressures are okay, and the thickness of the members are okay according to the shear capacity. So let's leave it the way it is. We can move now to, to the reinforcement. There are some uh, default values here that we can change. They don't mean anything to this problem. With, with these uh, rebars and spacing that are shown as default, number six at 12, the capacity of the stem is, is okay. The ratio is 0.36 for, uh, for a positive or negative moment and for positive 0.18. And the minimum steel ratio is 0.59. So with this configuration, looks like we are very comfortable with the design. We could even reduce a little bit. Probably instead of number six, we could use number fives. Let's see, number fives. So it, it changed to 0.84, the minimum, but it's okay. And in the backfield side, we can do the same. So we changed to 0.49 and 0.50, so it's, it's, it's okay. As you can see, the main uh, reinforcement for the stem is horizontal. It's horizontal because uh, obviously the stem spans between uh, counterforts. So the stem acts as a, a continuous horizontal beam where the main reinforcement is horizontal in, in, in both phases. The stability is okay. The bearing capacity is uh, below the allowable pressure. In this uh, image, we can see the forces acting on the wall itself, or the resultant vertical, horizontal resultant, uh, the, the passive pressure, and uh, here the friction that we defined uh, previously, and then uh, the, the reaction at the, at, at the footing. This, the, the safety ratios uh, are okay as we saw before, so we can leave it the way it is. We are now in the stem design, so we can see here uh, the pressures acting on the stem 
and in the in the bottom of uh, of the page we can uh, see the shear diagram and the moment diagram for this uh, continuous beam so we are in the stem we said the stem is okay with this with this configuration of reverse and spacing so that leave it the way it is let's move to the footing now the, let's go to the counter for first to go in order here uh, with this uh, default rebars that are shown there, uh, the capacity is okay, but the vertical tension is over. The vertical tension uh, corresponds to these uh, vertical rebars, which are ties uh, developed to the footing. So the vertical bar size right now are number four at 12. Obviously, this is not enough. The, we are over all, 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 almost for 100%. So let's move to, to number fives. Uh, reduce to, we are still 25% over. So let's reduce the, uh, the spacing probably uh, uh, nine. Yeah, with number five at nine stirrups, vertical stirrups, the vertical tension is uh, ratio is 0.93, which is okay. The moment capacity using uh, four number sixes is 0.79 and four number sixes are also cut off at six foot maybe we can uh, uh, eliminate completely this four let me let me check it will specify zero only four number sixes we are over by 57 percent so we, we really need those rebars maybe two of them is it, it's, it's still over so we need we leave it we leave it four number sixes uh, graphically you can see those rebars just at the bottom of, of the of the counter for so uh, vertical tension is 0.93 as we saw before so it's uh, very well optimized the counter for let's move to the to the footing the toe and the heel we can see here immediately that the minimum steel area is is, is over so it's about 100 percent over so we need to add more steel even if even if we we, we don't need it for for capacity we need it for the minimum steel requirements so let's move to the footing and uh, the toe uh, first of all we need to specify top and bottom because uh, the footing is pretty pretty thick is uh, 20 inches thick so let's put top and bottom so that we th that increased more more steel uh, but it, we are still over so we need to uh, reduce we need to specify here number sixes as well at eight 1.01 1 .01. so let's say one percent is okay for the hill is 135 so we are over still uh, we need to specify top and bottom again and uh, let's use the same size and spacing uh, number six at eight So it's point 90. So with this uh, uh, configuration, with these uh, rebars for the stem, for the counter fort, and for the footing, which are represented here in this section, we are okay. In the detail tab, you can see the calculation step by step with uh, exposed formulas. Uh, so for a granular checking, so great for uh, for a detailed. Uh, checking of, of of your design so everything is here uh, solvering pressures and sliding calculations stem design the counter for design heel design and we you can see that uh, also the reference to the aci are included so all these calculations are handy for for checking and you can uh, share all this with with your team graphically we saw that the stability well, we went over already safety factors are uh, are okay satisfactory uh, the stem design we saw that it's okay uh, with the current configuration uh, here and moment diagrams for uh, for all these combinations footing design here we we can see the bearing uh, pressure the resulting uh, design ratios are here 0.95 versus one and 0.7 versus one so uh, with the, with the controlling combinations so it's, 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 it's okay and uh, in the lower portion of the of the view we can see the hill design with uh, the corresponding bearing 
pressure that in this case is ignored conservatively uh, only is considered the weight of the backfield on top of the uh, of the hill and uh, the flexure ratio is 0 0.68 and the shear ratio is 0 0.93 with the corresponding uh, combinations uh, graphically we can see also the construction view plan view with the, all the can all the counter force at every 10 foot uh, the stem here, uh, the toe, and the heel, and a section uh, view. You can see also a condensed report, five pages, which are uh, very well uh, uh, crafted, and you can share all this information with with your team or your uh, your client. Same way, you can see a print preview of the detailed report that we just saw with all the calculations step by step and obviously you can share also this with uh, with your team it's a very nice uh, organized report for your uh, for your records of course we can uh, continue optimizing the design if we wish for example we could optimize a little bit uh, the stem, you know, 0.63, we, we could say that uh, the stem instead of 12 could be probably 10 inches thick and, and the stem would be still okay, 0.79, and uh, the reinforcement is still okay. So it's, this is a, a better optimized uh, uh, version of the, of, of the design. Same thing with the counterfort. The counterfort probably could be optimized a little bit, maybe instead of 12 maybe 10 inches yeah we can we, we can say that uh, the shear is 0 0.57 and still the counter fourth uh, still area is giving a good result giving good results for for the design so this is uh, the, the final design graphically looks like that uh, stability stem the footing and the construction uh, views so thank you very much for your attention.